Got a scallywag. She's come back to say hi. She was keeping my seat warm. Hi, scallywag. Look, we got a weird light, my ring light. I gotta fix the lighting in here, y'all. How is everybody? We moved. We moved. E -e 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 -e. <laughs> we moved. I know. I know. I know. She liking it here. Where is everybody? Oh my gosh. Okay. I hope this lighting isn't gonna bug the hell. Weird ring light. I'm turning it. Should I turn it? Hi, you guys. Oh my God. What a week. I have to get the lighting correct in here and I do not know how to do it. No, I moved. I'm in my new place. This is my new studio. I literally have a separate room for my studio. So this is really good. I moved like a bitch. I moved like a bitch. And now I got a weird light. Let me turn that light. Hold on a second. Let me turn the light so it gets out of my eyes. There's, I've got to figure out. No, but still, where's that light coming from? Oh my God, it's bouncing off of the pictures. I'm gonna have to defuse it. <laughs> look, look, if I get under it, it's like I have an angel. Look, eee. Um, Yeah, so hi, you guys. Thank you, oh my God. Oh fuck, what a move. I can't even tell you. Like, I drove, I think like over 700 miles. Like, it's like I drove to the Grand Canyon and back. Just craziness, craziness, y'all. I'm gonna have to fix the ring light. I'm gonna sit right there. I don't know how to do it. Anyway, I've got it. It's pretty small in here, this room. So this is the studio room, so it's pretty good. And then we have another room back here. So now I have a door. This is the secret door to the back room with all my luggage in it, y'all not luggage shit my shit and my washer and dryer are all back there and uh then the house is over that way and the bedroom and the bathroom over that way so oh my god I'm telling you I couldn't even think I couldn't Mew was here oh she's right there by the floor I couldn't even think okay I couldn't even think I was like Egh. so me and my friend Johnny we came we pulled the carpet out thank you for that thank you we pulled the carpet out on a Saturday, and then we went, see, when you work with Johnny, that's my friend, Johnny. He's a Sagittarius, and he's a friend of Lori's. That's how I met him, through Lori, through Libra Lori, thank God, because he's completely talented, greatly talented. He can do anything. Ask him to fix anything, finish anything. He's a finish, finishing carpenter, but he also loves to do all kinds of shit. Like, I'll be like, can you go on the roof and rip that off? He's like, sure. So he's like, you're my bitch for the next couple of days because <laughs> back and forth to Home Depot. So I would call Deanna. I'm like, um, guess where I'm going? She's like, I bet you're going to Home Depot. I'm like, fuck Home Depot. <laughs> I can't go there again. So I was in and out of Home Depot. I was like, oh my God. Um, no, I'm not in the same area. I moved away. I'm in the new house. Yes, I moved away. I did move away, y'all. It's a very small house with a big backyard. My neighbors are great. They talk to, I was like shocked. They're like, hi, are you the new neighbor? And I'm like, are you talking to me? Like, don't, don't call the cops. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I'm like, don't, don't call the cops on me. And they're like, oh, hi, I'm so-and-so and so-and-so. And I'm like, I, I called Deanna. I'm like, I, I don't know. Like people are talking to me. That's so rare, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Keithy right there. Um, I'm like, people never talk. And so they're, yeah, I did. I moved in. I literally gave notice on the 7th of January. No, maybe it was, yeah, it was the 7th. Once um, my landlord t told me, well, their family owns a lot of cabins. So anyway, once I met him and I signed the paperwork, then I gave her notice so she raised the rent the day before Christmas. So what is that? Like the 24th of December. So by the 7th of January, I found this place. And then I signed the paperwork. I'm going to get rid of this light. This is just a test run, y'all, with the lights. Nee, nee. Um, anyway, and then I called Johnny and said, there's carpet. And they're like, we'll replace the carpet. They couldn't get the cement equal, but he did it. And we put in wood floor so nice they're like you do it if that's what you want no worries someone sent me this beautiful mug totally perfect huh um totally perfect 
Yeah, and um, so that ha Home Depot, I was like, I can't. Like I would go up to, I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> running the other way. Please, please tell me where the shit is. Anyway, so, and then about lunch or one o'clock or two o'clock, I would go and get our lunch, right? Because I didn't want Johnny to stop working. He's like, just bring me lunch. He's really good that way. He literally worked three days for 13 hours. Oh, and remember, he fell off the roof. So he's just getting back after surgery. So it's been six months, July, since um, since he fell backwards off the roof when he was roofing. He literally stepped and it was July like 15th or something. Anyway, he is totally, wow, recovered. And yeah, he, so I'm like his third, third job or whatever. Yeah, no, it's right. <laughs> he did. He fell. Yeah, no, he did fall off the roof. It wasn't even funny. And when they took him to the hospital, they didn't do the surgery right away because his leg was too swollen. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway, he literally worked like an angel. Then we loaded up the truck, 15-foot truck full of shit. How do I have shit like that? You know why I have shit? He just, <laughs> I he just, like, we loaded it up, me and him, the first truckload, and... We brought the boxes in. Oh, by the way, Costco ran out of boxes at Christmas. So I had to go around. Then then my friend Kim moved to Arizona. So then I gave her some of the boxes and I gave Jasmine some of the boxes because I had like 20 huge crate boxes. I'm like, I can't keep them in the back room. It's annoying. I can't move. So um, anyway, we unloaded the truck. And the last thing I was lifting off, I was like, oh, fuck my back. And and I threw my back out again. So I took Motrin this time. And it's still kind of like thrown out. Anyway, long story short, when the furniture came, you know, the whole issue with the kitchen table. Anyway, my Jason did come with Jordan. It's Keithy's bestie. And they loaded up the truck with all of the furniture stuff and some other stuff. And... um then dropped it off here and I so I slept last Saturday I think the first night in here hi Bobby thank you Bobby's been to yeah I saw my Jason he was all nice and tall and well you know like Jason he was cute his dark hair was back thank god yes gone was the titanium hair yeah him and Jordan and they're both super tall Jordan's Jordan's like Keithy 6'4 so um and then Patrick came by and we had a fun time and land, landlord's name is Patrick. <laughs> I just doubted him over here um, and loves the wood floor and it's so quiet and it's in the woods and it's actually, it's a canyon house. So my new neighbor saw Johnny and he's like, oh, are you the new neighbor? And he's like, no, I'm friends with the new neighbor, but she's the new neighbor. And he's like, have you lived in the canyon before? And I'm like, no, I, I don't know. He goes, you're going to love living in the canyon. I'm like, I already do. So here I am. So I've been putting shit away and it's been, yeah. Knickknacks are out. I'm not collecting knickknacks anymore. I'm not doing it. I, we took a truckload of shit to the garbage dump. <laughs> yeah, now I got more even exciting news. I'm so excited because just before, and I told Bobby this. Okay, so just before, just before I came on here, my little Paigey had her baby. Yeah, Paigey had her little Kate and Jay. So little Kate and Jay has arrived, y'all, literally five minutes ago. So they just texted, the baby's arrived. I can't wait to see this baby. So that's so cute, little Kate and Jay. Yeah, he's arrived. So congratulations to Mommy Paige and Daddy Nate and the whole family. I was so excited when I heard. It was really exciting. I'm waiting all day for this. I'm texting her sister, Stacy, and she's texting me back. Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Now, go time, now, now. And I'm like, oh shit. So yeah, so cute. Um, yeah, Paigey's lovely and I'm so excited for her. Yep, baby came tonight. I know I texted you, Bobby, right? <laughs> I texted Bobby right away. I'm like, new baby is here. Um, they just texted. I was putting my phone up and I saw it. I'm like, ooh, I'm excited. So I love new baby smell, right? So cute. Oh, oh, great mug. I forget who sent this to me, but here it is. It's one mug that did not break. 
Do you know how much stuff you break on the way out the door? I know, diaper duty. I can't wait to meet this baby. I so cute. I love the babies. Thank you for that. Thank you. Um, I broke two of my candlesticks. I smashed obsidian. I ran into the picture coming out of there with a broom and smashed everything. Kaboom. Yeah, little Aquarius baby. Yeah, what is today? The 23rd, little Aquarius baby. And I think the baby's Leo rising. I think that's what we decided. So I have to actually look. I hear Mew out there. Anyway, Mew loves her new place. Everything is good. And then, I know, newborns are the best. And then I was on TikTok and I heard who? Hilaria Baldwin. I thought I'd mention her. She's been doing the cuckoo rant. Hello, Jupiter's in Aries and Mr. Alec, April 3rd, person, Alec Baldwin, you know, he's being charged, I guess with involuntary... I'm not sure. Maybe y'all know, right? Um, yeah, Keithy was Leo rising. I'm Leo rising. Bobby's Leo rising. Hilario. <laughs> I know, Hilaria. I'm Hilaria. You're crazy. Anyway, um, yeah, she popped out like seven kids. But you know that's something else going on there. Anyway, she's been on the news. Oh, happy birthday to your dad. Moving was just like, oh my God. I, I don't know. I literally, I would send Bobby pictures. Those big Costco crates that are yellow or black with the yellow lids. I had 15 of those. And then little stuff with crystals in them packed. And then pictures. Because even though I got them all on disc, I want the pictures. And then I bought a makeup tote and threw my um, makeup into, you know, like a, like a professional. You want to come on? I gave her fresh chicken for dinner, um, but a makeup tote to carry all my makeup. And I'm like, you know what? It's staying in the bathroom. So, and I gave those big floating shelves to my friend Kim and she's in Arizona in her new house and Jordan took the shelves home. So there's that. Yeah. So I gave away those shelves and then I bought just two little ones. I'm trying to get away with less, but it's so hard. Oh my God. Okay. So cute. I just saw a text. The baby came at 535. Oh, so cute. So cute, that little baby of Paige's and Nate's. I know it. I can already see its little squishy face. Um, I love the baby squishy faces. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's really quiet. It's it's um very nice. Kitty loves it. Kitty loves it, y'all. And this is my new like studio, and I got to get rid of the ring lights. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. So these are all these are all windows out into the forest up here, like where I've got Keith's pictures. And that's a door out. This is my actual studio room. So I have a separate door entrance for this. But these are all um, these are all lights outside. That's Deanna's Christmas tree she gave me. Oh, there's Mew. She likes to sit by the tree. So it's um there's all the forest is right out there, and you can hear the birds in the morning. They're so cute. And Mew loves it. The first night, for, no, it's not the Grand Canyon. <laughs> the first night, Mew ran out. Okay, so I parked my car down the street because Johnny left the moving truck in the driveway. I have like four spots, which is great. Actually, I have a bunch of spots. But I parked down the street, so I was hiking up the street at like 2 in the morning. Not unusual. And you see? Do you see what goes on here? This one, she loves to jump. So she, um, I, I came up the street, so it's two o'clock in the morning and I opened the door and Johnny was coming back at like eight in the morning. I opened the door and out she fled. So there I was running around going, you can't be outside because of the animals. So let's see, I am next moving from Hamilton to Alberta. Oh my God, it's crazy. The shit you have when you move. The shit that you have when you move. Look, she's coming to say hi to y'all. She loves it here. She just goes everywhere. She's like, she loves the crystals. She's going to sit down. <laughs> She's going to do it. So the shit you have when you move is like outrageous. I haven't seen any stray cats. I haven't. Yeah, she wants to be on YouTube, Bobby. She's been missing it. She, she doesn't want to admit it, though. You know, so when you, oh, it was so traumatizing. I threw shit out. I was like, oh my God, look at these pants. I threw them out. I'm like, I'm not packing another thing. I'm not packing. I'm still getting rid of shit. Like seriously, 
I'm getting rid of shit. Oh, mm. there she is. I know what's wrong. What do you want to do? You want to say hi to the people? She just wants attention. She's like, I've got you. Yeah, she's really cute. Well, I should have donated it, but we were clearing out the other house. So, and then the most fun I had, do you want to hear this fun? Yeah, let me tell you this fun. And even this can't bother me. Yep, jump. There she goes. Okay, so the most fun I had was going to my post office box on Friday night, also called Bobby for this, went bananas. Um, someone who threatened me with the IRS. I got an IRS letter. Yeah, I missed the first letter because it went to John's work, not to me. And he never gave it to me, so I didn't answer. And when you don't answer, when you do not answer the IRS, they tax you and put a huge bill to the tune of 57000 onto my taxes. And I was like, I almost drove off the road. I almost drove off the road, y'all. So I, my... The CPA is handling it beautifully, but um, yeah, I didn't mess up. I, I hire people to do my taxes. I'm not stupid. So I know for 2020 what I made, right? And they're like, we received these bills. So somebody resent the money that I made and it looked like I made like some crazy amount of money and they're like, yeah, you owe 57,800 and I'm like, and they're like, by February, how would you like to pay? I'm like, well, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> that is not going to happen. So anyway, um, my CPA looked through my uh, stuff and she's like, no, we filed correctly. We did file correctly. So now you have to go and bring up the paperwork. It looks like somebody changed. I know. Yeah, I know. I know what John did. Oh my fucking God. I was like, ah, like this. I called him and then I was like, Anyway, it didn't work. No, it wasn't an audit. They just found a discrepancy because somebody mailed a 1099, I guess it is, and it had a bunch of money on it. But we'd already included that in the income, and so it looked like there were double. So, like, if you get a 1099 for 10000 it's like somebody sent three more, and then I didn't answer the email. <laughs> and um, I didn't answer it because I didn't get it and so they're like yeah guess what we attached you on the 16th of January so my CPA is handling it and yet I'm like you and they're like you, I called up on Friday and they're like we need to put a hold on this because they could go in and take everything out of your bank account I'm like there's nothing in there but all right and um so it was pretty funny Super chance as well as ad revenue. Wait, take. No, I haven't heard that. I have heard nothing because I've been moving. Oh. I like cats. Yeah, they ask questions later. I know. So anyway, my account's taking, CPA's taking, um, you were hacked three times. Oh, I can believe it. So John kept threatening me. The IRS is going to audit you. They're going to send taxes. And guess what? After his threats, just let this be a thing. After someone threatens you and it happens, guess who caused it? That's right. But it doesn't matter because it's cleared up now. Nobody owes that amount of money over here. Thank you very much. They take 50%. Do they? So I'm going to have to switch. Yeah, just with a phone call. I know. I know. They can hack into your account. They're like, oh, no, that doesn't happen. I'm like, they got all your information. You were married and your old accountant can do it, for God's sake. So whatever. But um, yeah. So anyway, it was very strange. So I almost drove off the road on Friday. I was like, oh, I was like, ah, like that. I thought they were getting rid of the IRS. Who? Not those people. <laughs> Not these people. Um, yes, John has seen the new house, but he's now banned again. He can get in this clear. He helped with the moving truck, the second moving truck. Anyway, he can help. I mean, he can. He came and visited, but he's not welcome back because of that IRS debt. No, when you threaten me with that, you do bullshit. Anyway, so IRS no longer exists. Apparently, the money. Where's the money going? Where is the money? Where's the money going? I do like my new place. And nobody can stalk me here because it's too obvious. You can't go up the mountain road. I have cameras. Johnny and I put cameras up everywhere. It's hilarious. At night, I'm like, what's going over my back porch? 
So, um, anyway, yeah, Miss, let's see. I would thank you for that, Carmen. Thank you. Yeah, Bobby. No, Bobby, you dealt with the taxes. It's such bullshit. People get away with shit all the time. I'm like, y'all are full of shit. You all are full of shit. I suspect she took a vax and then her heart blew up, right? I, it's just so, I know you can't stalk here. That's the thing. I can see you because I have two doors and I have six cameras. <laughs> I have them behind in front. That way, once I just check, I have a security system. So go ahead and stop. And my neighbors, like everybody's watching in this little canyon. That's all I'm saying. Mm. Closest Starbucks about a mile away. Once you go down out of the canyon into the city, it's a little city. It's very cute. Um, it's super cute. But I'm far away. Like, you can't just show up here. It's not like driving by the street on my old place, which is my old neighborhood, right? Yeah, no, they need to win. How's the toilet? The toilet works. <laughs> I flushed it before I moved in. It works. Um, yeah, the hot water's great. Everything is great. The landlord's super nice. The heater works. I don't have a heater on the other place because it didn't work right. Well, the air conditioning didn't either, but yeah, it's so good. So yes, I have a new running route. Yeah, I have six of them. So yeah, it's very good, but moving is hell. So now that YouTube's going to take 50%, when are they starting this? I do deserve peace. I am happy. I wasn't happy last week. Washer and dryer in the back room. Yes. Um, I should do a housewarming, huh? Yeah. So washer and dryer in the back room, y'all. Uh, yeah, unpacking. Yeah, unpacking. Water pressure, perfect. Everything is really good. So cute. And I put that privacy stuff on my front door because they have beautiful, like, it, the, this cabin, it's actually a cabin, was made in 1945. And it's got, like, really pretty beveled glass on the front door. But you could see, you could see the beveled glass, right? And let's see, can't be, can't get in trouble for reporting false info to the IRS. Yes, you can get in trouble for that. I just have to prove it. So that's what I'm looking at doing. Um, beveled glass is real pretty. So I put the, I didn't burn sage. You know why? Because it broke the sage bucket, lost the sage on the road, whatever. Um, this place happened like that. I told you, literally, I got the notice of $500 increase from my other landlady. And then Paigey said, no, look on Facebook marketplace. And then this place popped right up on one of my places I like to go. And then I was like, oh shit. And then I got it within a week. So thank God. I mean, just by the grace of God, because I, I think a lot of people wanted to be here, honestly. Um, so I was told there was a lot. They wanted someone who like liked nature and liked the area. And, and that's me. And uh, anyway, there could have been a lot of good people living here. So yeah, the stained glass. And I, I put that, Bobby, I put the stuff you put, the privacy windows. So like you spray it down. So now you can't see. Cause I was like behind the window going like this. And then my friend was like, can't see you. And oh my like, good. Um, no, I haven't cleared anything. I haven't cleared a thing, but I will. Yeah, it's really good. And so, and, and this week, keep in mind, we had the mercury going direct. Uranus just went direct. And there were so much shenanigans in the world. And Hilaria was out there being hilarious. I'm Hilaria. I'm Spanish. I have seven kids with Alec Douchebag Baldwin. Sorry, did I say that? April 3rd, y'all. Aries. Jupiter's in Aries right now. So, for you Aries types. Uh, wait, who had a quadruple? Wait, husband had a heart attack right in the middle of it. In the middle of moving. No, I don't have a bathtub still. It's too small for that, but... I have a nice big shower. It's fine. I don't really bath. If I were to bathe, I get creeped out by my own dirt in the tub. So I very rarely bathe anymore. That's having a house full of boys. I don't do it. You know, plus animals in the tub and shit like that, right? Oh, thank you for the super chat. Jennifer, thank you for that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Lula loves it also. Thank you so much for that, you guys. We have Jupiter in Aries, y'all. So Jupiter's going into Aries, or is it in Aries? It is in Aries right now. It's Pisces, Aries. I think it's in Pisces going into Aries. So Aries, you know, they can have luck or no luck. But Hilaria's husband is in April 3rd. So Hilaria, hilarious, 
<laughs> no talk to my children. They don't understand. I can't even imitate her. She's so stupid. But um, yeah. So anyway, her husband, the April 3rd, probably going to catch some shit, y'all. Yeah. Jupiter and Aries transiting my ninth. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's a lucky move for you or lucky sale of purchase of land or lucky learning knowledge, all of that. So yeah, that's good. Pages and Aries. And look, she just had a baby. Jupiter bringing babies. Yes. Lisa Marie Presley. My thoughts with that are, um, yes, he was charged with, wasn't it negligent manslaughter? Not necessarily like murder, but, um, negligent, you know, one of my one of my Instagram friends talked about how hilarious husband was her friend, right? Which it's true. This woman is what well, you know dialed up with all the celebrities, and she's like, "Don't pick on him." And I'm thinking, you know, there's a kid without his mom because this jackass shot her. Now, did he mean to? Did he know the bullet was in there? I have no idea. Did somebody set him up? It seems like a setup somehow. I don't know, but. Um, yeah, Lisa Marie did not look well in the last pictures of herself, whatever, at that event. She looked a little bit not right. So I don't know if she was medicated. They're do they deferred it, which means they're doing a talk screen, more than the initial talk screen that they do. So yeah, no jail. I'm sure Alec will get off April 3rd. Hilaria. I'm hilaria. Hilaria. Anyway, yeah, I, yes, involuntary manslaughter. Thank you. Yeah, it's, um, she didn't look right. She didn't, yeah, she looked medicated and she, or drunk, what, but, you know, she could have been sluggish. She might have had a flu and not felt right. Oh, my God. So I had three asthma attacks moving. <laughs> I had asthma attacks three times. I'm just thinking if you got COVID and you're sick and you can't breathe, that could also be something, just saying. Yeah. Yeah, of course she's grieving. Definitely grief can kill. But she didn't look right. She didn't look right. Yeah, her son died 10 days, 10, 14 days before Keith. So her son died 14 days before Keithy. Thank you so much for that, Jennifer. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, 14 days before Keith, 2020. Um, her skin did look off and look sallow and that gray look we could have been seeing because of the veil, the gray look that people get when they're going to pass. Right. Um, was huge. And she just lost. yeah, all of that died. I mean, she was a tiny person though, too. She's like five feet tall. So it's hard to keep thin when you're five feet tall. I'm thinking it's hard to keep thin when you're any height, really, quite frankly, unless you're a gangly guy. Right. Yeah. Her son, I know COVID, right. I had it at Christmas. I was like, whatever y'all the covid people but i had, i'm having trouble like with the asthma at least it looked out of it she did yeah losing her son was too much and especially in the way i know when you're little though you do have to watch your weight obviously there's less you know um she did look a lot like elvis and yeah that's a huge burden to bear you're w witnessing bearing your son especially under extreme circumstances so I don't envy I understand I understand I'm completely not same circumstances but I understand uh yeah five one is hard son and daughter's dad and yeah I know I'm I'm glad that the the father of her son moved into the house to be with his family now the second husband's got the twins and wasn't he charged with doing something with CP? I don't know. I might be wrong on that, but like, why should he have custody of any kid? Because he got charged with CP. There are ghosts in my new place. <coughs> Deanna and I, um, we felt ghosts yesterday. Yeah. I need to lose 80 pounds. Oh, you could do it. You could do it. Oh my God. See, I lose oxygen. Then I'm like yawning. Um, no, you can do it. You have to just walk. Don't put it in, just walk. Just go out and walk. Cut out one food, Danny Masterson case. She was going up in the second um, to testify against him, yeah. So that's interesting. It's always with Scientology, with any of them. Like if, God forbid you speak the truth. God forbid you speak the truth. Don't speak the truth on this planet. Don't point out the obvious because you'll have a bunch of freaks coming after you, right? Yeah, it's so weird. Let's see, I sent PI, get her DNA. Yes! Yes, Bobby, you should tell that story of that. I can't stand this light in my eye. If I turn the light off, what do y'all think? I'm going to turn it off and see what it does because I can't stand the ring light.
Let's see what it does, y'all. Let's see. We're testing the lighting. We're testing. Testing. Oh, one, two, three, testing. <laughs> Let's see if I got lops. I may I maybe only need one light. Oh. E. This is a bit dark in here. E. Uh yeah, I don't know about this. Hmm. Excuse me again. The lighting, yeah, the lighting is going to need to be played with, I feel. Okay, back on. Let's turn it that way. All right. There we go. All right. This is a bit better. It was just a little bit too bright. Okay. So, uh, yeah. I'm, <laughs> it has, no, I could see... Look, y'all, the ring light, it must be bouncing. I'll figure it out. Turn it to, I did, it is towards the wall. See, there it is. It's over there towards the wall. The rooms are really cute. There's, um, there's, uh, what do you call it? Um, tile on the floor. I was super happy. I was super, okay, I'm going to show you guys what I did with the floor. We still have the baseboard taped down because you want to see? No one cares, but I'm going to show you anyway. Because we put a wood floor in. <laughs> we got the baseboard. Okay, so, oh my God. This is taped down because we had to add baseboard and it was so cold. So anyway, this is it. There's Mew. This is a little living room, y'all. Can you see the wood floor? I'm so excited about the wood floor. You see? So we have tape on what we just put down because it was raining so much. We had to keep it stuck down with the heat. Anyway, so cute little kitchen. And there's me there. And there, that's all we got up on. That's all we got. So it's a little living room in here. And then there's a little bedroom and a little bathroom. And it's all cute. And now I'm over it. There, you saw it, y'all. So it's cute, right? So we taped down that molding because it got loose because of the rain. So it didn't dry. So... I had the heater on it and then um, taped it down so it wouldn't go goofy with us. So anyway, that was that. Yeah, it's really cute. It's very cute, huh? So that's what we've been doing. So we, it, yeah, it's nice, huh? Yes, it's called, um, what is that floor called? Gray Pelican. So that's what the floor was. Yeah. So anyway, that's it. Yeah, no, we felt ghosts in here. Jennifer, thank you so much. It's so cute. Yes, Jason helped me load the truck. Jason helped me load the truck, y'all. He came up with Jordan. I used Jordan as bait. Jordan's here. <laughs> so Keithy loves Jordan. Keithy. Keithy loved Jordan. Jason loves Keithy's friends. So he came up to see Jordan. So I was like, Kim, can you lend? Kim lent her son out. Jordan was so gracious to come. He carried everything in and he's like putting the shelves and I made him take the shelves. It's friendly ghost, female ghost. Female ghost that lived around the area in the 50s was in the house last night. Yeah, it was so cute. Um, yeah, I got him out. He did. He agreed and out. And then little Jordan too. So Kim's like, Jordan can help you. I'm like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, it's okay. And I'm like, you just offered your son out. <laughs> so anyway... Um, yeah, that's what happened. So yeah. Oh, your mom passed away. I'm so sorry. January 1st. It's been so weird. Yeah, there's a graveyard around here. Just very close. Actually, I just noticed it today. It's like a block down. And so I was like, oh, oh, anyway. Yeah, they come. Yeah, it was fun. He did come and help. It was so fun. And I'm sorry your mom passed away. Yeah, she was born in the 50s, the ghost, and she had glasses on, and we saw her last night, me and Deanna, so yeah, quiet neighbors, like everybody's super quiet, I'm loud, so I think I'm loud, <laughs> I think I'm going to be a loud ass bitch up here, um, so yeah, let's see, old homes are spooky, I much prefer new ones, yeah. <laughs> right? Um, yeah, the ghost, I don't know, anyway, it's very cute. So, yeah, Jason, yeah, it's very nice. He came to help me. Jordan, too, and that was really good. But, Jesus, Johnny helped a lot. So, I got to thank him. My hats are off to him because, geez. Yeah, I can walk in the... I Lila hasn't seen it. She wants to bring Zuli and come hang out. So, that will be cute because the Chihuahua needs to be with the kitty. Um. Anyway, yeah, that was that. So, Hilaria... 
apparently with all seven of her children. I got to admit, she looks good, but wow, seven children, right? Okay, so pink glamour. What do I suggest to connect with the other side? I'm sorry, you guys. It makes noise every time I move. Okay, so uh, here's what I suggest to connect with the other side. First of all, my jean jacket's right. Oh, my jean jacket was from Walmart. My, wherever, where the, this, this little half jean jacket, I was running and I went to buy a birthday card in Walmart up near Valencia and I saw this really cute little crop jean jacket. So I bought like 16 of them. No, I bought three of them and some pink ones and then gave some away as gifts too. But, um, no, of course, Baldwin's not going to go to jail. They're just distracting us again. Uh, okay, so what do I suggest to connect with spirit? It's Okay, so first of all, I want you guys to understand that you are a receptacle. Your body is like a receiver of information. Yeah, she might not be having those babies, right? Like, I'm like, she, yeah, that's a lot of kids to pop out. Uh, Hilaria doesn't tend to give birth. Hilarious. <laughs> I know, she's so weird. Um, but anyway, in order to receive information, you first have to become aware of how to use your instrument. And so I look at the human body much like a symphony. So some people are trumpets, some people are guitars, some people are violins, some people are visual, some people are physical, some people feel it, some people speak it, some people hear it. Some depending on the energy so the way that you make yourself ready to do it this is just my opinion is meditate for several probably three weeks 21 days meditate okay I know it's very frustrating me neither with Keith a lot of the time um, so you meditate and you ask your guides to open up your ability to connect with spirit that's what you do that's the first thing Second thing is salt baths or salt scrubs or like Bobby sent me deep sea salt scrubs, right? So deep sea salt scrubs to clear the energy around, right? Then keep your instrument highly tuned. Now think of a violin. You have to put the resin on it or whatever that stuff is. A guitar, you have to do things in a particular way. Fasting also, exactly Bobby, fasting. But you have to keep your, that's fasting, keep your body instrument in tune. No drugs, no alcohol. I know if you want to smoke a joint, I get it. But I would be very careful. The stuff makes people stupid out there these days. But keep your body, you know, energy harnessed and exercise. Epsom salts is perfect. Doesn't matter what kind of salt. Exercise and then pray and meditate at least 10 minutes a day. Uh, let's see, I think my ex was murdered and my daughter but it doesn't matter if you know it you know it of course you can't prove it on earth they always say prove it no you fucking prove it you fucking prove it doesn't exist if you feel it i'm gonna go with your instinct and then ask ask your ex to is your ex the one that passed or your daughter i'm sorry whichever one passed or both but ask for the information to be given to you it can come through a person a place or a thing for example when I was looking for what happened to Keith, obviously Deanna was by my side, but then Bobby became by my side. Okay, your daughter. Then ask anybody around your daughter to give your information. It doesn't have to be your daughter if you can't connect with her energy. It can be through somebody else's you, you know energy field. So ask to be shown. If you ask for like three weeks at a time, meditate. Honest to God. I go in the sauna and meditate. Like I do that quite a bit to to open up in Jesus' name. Amen. Absolutely. I do that. Um, pin up. You are so right. Not safe anymore. I don't know where we're not. Yes. Exfoliating. All of that. Dead sea salt bath. I use that. I also ask for the information to come to me and I don't judge how it comes to me. So if I just think something and somebody will argue, no, it's not my altar. It's just my pictures. Um, it's my set. It's not an altar. It's my set. The dead people on my set. Well, these two aren't dead. But Hendrix, stepson, son, family. So it's, yeah, it's not an altar. But what you need to do <clears throat> to do is not judge the information when it comes to you because you may think it's not like what you've seen on TV or what you've heard or 
you know, all of that. And that's not true. Oh, thank you. My opinion on Harry Styles. You're hilarious. Harry Styles. Yeah, okay. Mr. Styles has been turned out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. He wears skirts. He's been turned out. Um, that's what I feel. I haven't seen it happen. I've seen it happen. And I'm going to trust... I'm going to trust what you feel because it's your daughter. And I'm sorry that happened to her, but I'm going to trust it. It can be very difficult to get information, you know, gay for pay. Yeah, gay for pay like they are in Hollywood. Yeah, Jason did help his mother. Jason loves his mother. He didn't want to talk to her all the time, but he loves her. It's okay. He can do whatever he wants to do. He's allowed to do it. Um, he left the state for California. Okay, that's interesting. You start... You can do automatic writing. Look, oh my God, the lighting is bad. Okay, sorry. You can do automatic writing. You can do um, meditation 10 minutes a day. You can ask, um, how do you, okay, here's how I properly meditate. <laughs> I'm not even sure I'm doing it right. But I lay down either in the sauna or my bed or wherever and I literally, I do a timeline jump for 10 minutes and I follow the instruction of the meditation or timeline jump. So if you have to do it like that, go with something that resonates with you and meditate and then ask for information to come to you and it will. I'm living but I'm dead with no life. Oh, with no life force. Destiny, let's start exercising. Harry Styles sells out Harry and Lewis. Wait, Harry and Lewis. I don't even know who Harry and Lewis are. Wait, Destiny, come back. Come back. Um, ask God. Yeah, actually, ultimately, God is the communication between what you want to know and what you don't want to know, I guess, and what you ask. So there's nothing you can't know. There's nothing you can't know. We all have access to it. It's just a matter of understanding what we have access to. I know it's so cute. I'm going to get the lighting right in here, y'all. I just haven't figured it out yet. So, yeah. Yeah, meditation's really good. I also, yeah, rollerblades. That's fun. I'm afraid I'd kill myself. You should see the bruises I have from moving, from banging into things and stepping off the side of the truck like a nut. I did not exercise, but twice since I had COVID the week before um, Christmas. So I'm like, oh my God, I had to exercise. I did today. Um, Meditation is extremely necessary. Also, remember, it's extremely, um, <laughs> the lighting is weird to me. Thank you for that, you guys. Remember when you meditate, you may not feel it because we've been indoctrinated by TV shows that show things that are just fraudulent. There's a lot of people online and they're like, the spirit had jumped right in front of me and did this. They can do that, but it is so highly un... I'm back this morning on my hiking routine, thank God, because I was moving, so I had to save my energy. Johnny get here at 8 in the morning. He'd either get in my old place or my new place at 8 a.m., which means he had to like leave like an hour and a half early, but he'd be there all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed going, what are we doing? <laughs> and I was like, uh, eh, like that. So anyway, um, yeah, Madonna's going down and yeah, it's kind of uh, baldy. I know, Mount Baldy, I ran it a hundred times this summer. Yeah, two people fell off. My friend Brent's still hiking it every day. He's been going up. He's like, come on, I'll take you when it's a level four. Okay, I think it's coming back there. I just checked to see that the, um, yeah, I checked to see that the, uh, what do you call it? What is that? Wi-Fi was on. So, yeah, the Wi-Fi. I'm floating. Yeah, the, the meditation is extremely important. Now, if you can't sit still in your house and meditate, which is like, I have a problem. I couldn't even read my emails while I was moving. I literally was like, what should I do? What should I do? And I wouldn't go to sleep till one in the morning. And I was like, I can lift three more bags and unpack them and do whatever. You know, blah, blah, blah. So when you're moving, exercise, you can use that as moving meditation. But your body is an instrument. And you have to know what kind of instrument you are. So I'm verbal. So I like communication. I like direct dialogue. I'm also tactile and I can feel things. So I'm a combination. Some people hear, some people receive their information. You have to find out what you are. Are you a violin? Are you a guitar? What are you? 
Um, oh my God, tell them. <laughs> I'll tell Bobby's tale. Yeah, Bobby called me. She's been on a stakeout, staking out. I don't even know if I should say. Well, I'm going to say it, but I'm not going to say who he is. Anyway, this dude, husband dude, he got the nasty pants. He likes to go out with his nasty pants and like, you know, hook up with everybody and anyone. Anyway, the family is looking to catch him hooking up, right? So Bobby and Luke has been on the run surveilling this guy all over the place. And it's really great. I get pictures. I'm like, look. <laughs> and he didn't even know. Sometimes Bobby carries a selfie stick. <laughs> she told me over the fence. But he couldn't figure out how he was getting caught. And so he's looking for a tracker on his car. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cracking up because it's Bobby and Lucas switching cars, switching their license plates <laughs> and they're following him. And he's like under there looking and then Bobby's in the bushes catching him and it's hilarious. I know more about this guy's life. Men, if you got a wife and she want to catch you doing shit, she'll catch you doing shit. It's hilarious. Uh, it's so funny. Anyway, uh, you showed up in my dream yesterday. You told me my husband wasn't right for you. Oh, <laughs> I know. It's so funny. Oh, if I showed up in your dream, that's awesome. I guess. I think. I don't know. Um, but anyway, yeah, Bobby's like an FBI, FBI spy out there tracking this guy. I mean, all this guy does is get up and look for, you know, somewhere to stick it. You know what I'm saying? Not in his home and not with his wife. Like he's fucking looking. So Bobby and Lucas at 8 o'clock in the morning, they're out there looking to see where this fucking guy is going. Excuse me, you fucking guy. <laughs> Stop with that. Oh, I'd love to know a sign. Bobby, you got you, you to gotta give me a sign so I got to know who's doing this bullshit. Um, like, geez, I know, right? <laughs> mm, so, oh, Dakota, how long? Wait, who's been missing? Um... I know Bobby should come on. Let's see. She's gearing. She's gearing. Getting STD test. She should be getting STD tested. ASAP. <laughs> With the pee pee. <laughs> Sorry. It's hilarious. He's a Taurus. Fuck that guy's a Taurus. Oh my God. Okay. So Tauruses, y'all. Don't yell at me. Do not yell at me. Taurus is in their lowest vibration. Now, Tor I hate carpet too. Tauruses are very tactile. Uranus is in Taurus right now. So that's why he's being weird, Bobby. Uranus is in Taurus, okay? Um, so Taurus can be very sensual and they can look for things in a very sensual way. So they can want things to happen in such a, like if they like to suck dick or get their sucked, then that's what they'll do 24 seven. If they, yeah, that's right. And if they like whatever, they'll do that too. So if they like chocolate, that's your opposition, Scorpio Taurus opposition. But Taurus is very sensual. So whatever it is, if they like the texture, the feel, the food, all of that, they'll do it. This guy obviously likes, you know what? <laughs> Pleasure seeking, exactly. Oh my God, this guy's funny though. Like, I mean, dude, you're gonna get caught. Well, he was peering around the corner at the hotel. Like, of course he was peering. He doesn't know how he keeps getting caught. Meanwhile, Bobby and Lucas, eh, they're just out driving, you know, eating breakfast. <laughs> Bobby has a portable potty. There, I told your secret. We were, to, I know he's creeping, right? Um, Bobby has a portable potty. So I'm gonna, what was it? A, uh, there was a, um, well, I know Taurus, I don't mind Taurus, but they, <laughs> uh, I don't know what's the, oh, Orlando Bloom, oh, Orlando Brown situation. Didn't he end up in jail or is he missing too? Yeah, Porta Potty, Taurus Man, Taurus Man out looking for JJ all over the fucking place. It's like, dude, how much do you need in a day? Like, do you have anything else you can do? Like, could you do something else? Anything else? Uh, yes, I have a new port. Yes, there you go. Porta potty and a tent, a trunk tent. <laughs> That's not going to be obvious out on the side of the road. Here's this truck, this tent with this really cute looking girl getting out going, excuse me, I have to use my potty. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh my God. Right. Oh God. Am I blurry? I might be blurry. Could be. Uh, why is moving making you look so great? Because 
I'm psychotic now. I thought I literally had an, <coughs> an asthma attack. <coughs> I'm still coming out it, because it's hilarious. Um, Hilaria, I'm sorry. It's Hilaria. <laughs> Hilaria Baldwin. Why are you following me, says Hilaria. My babies don't understand. Well, maybe you should tell your baby's daddy shot someone and they died so that her babies can't see her. Hilaria. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hilaria is hilarious. I'm sorry. Where did that name come from? I'm Hilaria. Alana Brown and MZ. Putting, see, I don't even know. I, I can't even look it up. Okay, Orlando Brown is talking. I, you know, they've all been doing it. They're all coming out. The veil is very thin. And it's so funny. It's so fucking funny, okay? Because I showed some people some pictures, and I forget who it was. Oh, Biden's kid, Hunter Biden. Those pictures, Bobby, with the little girls, you know, the little, like, mm, darker-skinned girls with the Reese all, you know, up on his chest hair and Hunter Biden sitting there with a bunch of little kids. Like, what normal man wants that anyway? Like, huh? Anyway, um, no, the kids are not Spanish, but their name's Spanish. Hilaria born January 6th <laughs> before Christ. <laughs> because she's a fucking... <laughs> okay, let me... <clears throat> Excuse me, I can't stop. I've, since I've had the COVID for the third time... I am having trouble breathing a bit. Maybe I'm going to get sick and die, okay? So, yeah, that could happen. <laughs> I don't care. Anyhow, um, Hilaria was born, I know. Well, don't take her back. Don't take her back to Boston. And Jamie Lee Curtis, first of all, Jamie Lee Curtis, you traitor. First of all, yeah, I got it. I got it from a party. Estelle and I went to a party and we both got sick. So what the hell is Orlando Brown? I know Orlando Brown. Oh, he's a December 4th. So Orlando, Brown, she's mind controlled. That's MK Ultra. She's running around like M MK Ultra. That's what she's doing. She loves her new home. She loves it here. She's really happy. The energy at the other place, I mean, it was fine. It was good. Um, God knows I couldn't move back into my old house because that would make me have a nervous breakdown and perhaps get arrested, right? So no, Stella. Oh my God, you guys, you want to hear a story? So my neighbor walks by <laughs> and he's like, hi, and I forgot his name. And he was with his wife and his dog. He's like, this is my dog, Stella. And I was like, Stella, but I didn't do it. I reined it on in and I I went, oh, what a nice name. Nice to meet you all. But then inside I was going, Stella, <laughs> like Elaine on Seinfeld. I really had to reframe because I don't think they're ready for Elaine over here. I don't think so. Um, anyway, Jamie Lee Curtis, when I was a kid growing up, and that was a fucking long time ago. Anyway, in Toronto, Stella. <laughs> I didn't do it. I was like, shut up, Sloan. Shut up, you stupid bitch. Do not piss off the neighbors. Do not go AWOL. Do not go rogue. Keep it quiet. So I did. Um, but you know, like when I go off on a goofy tangent. So anyway, <laughs> um, let's see. I'm late to the party, but why did Sloan move? Because my landlord raised my rent $500 before Christmas starting next month. But then she said... She was entitled because she hasn't raised it for three months. However, that's not true in California in because you can only raise it 10% a year. And if you forget to raise it, like you don't get to just pile it on like, hey, bitch, $500. Um, <laughs> like, no, no, no. Anyway, for less money than that, I moved into this place. Because I was going to end up having to pay more anyway. So I hope I get my deposit back. I haven't done the walkthrough. We were going to do it last week because I'm out of there. And she made me pay till the end of the month. Listen to this one, y'all. Listen to people when they try to push the envelope and then try to fucking blame you. So she says, I said, can we do the walkthrough? And she, I know, missing hikers. I know my friend Brent told me. I know. They're, they probably are missing. It's terrible. Um... So every piece of mail photographed in 1099 is mailed to, yeah, of course it is. So she, the landlady, um, it's fine. She can do what she wants, but I don't have to, you know, be around it. But anyway, the, the, she wanted to do the walkthrough and then she's like, well, we can do the walkthrough in the morning and 
I would like some people to check the place out at night. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, I fucking paid you the last month's rent. I shouldn't have, okay? But I just wasn't familiar with what she, I took a ton of pictures. I wasn't familiar with what she could do or not do. So I was a little bit afraid to leave my stuff in there, you know, because I mean, to fight someone, you have to fight them. Anyway, she's like, I have three weeks to give you the deposit back. And now I just found out you can't ask for a deposit that's more than the rent, which she did by $1,000. Anyhow, um, she was going to have people come check the apartment out. And then she said, no, I'm going to wait till we're going to do the walkthrough in the last day of the month because it's all legal, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, well, why are you having people walk through my fucking apartment? Anyway, she recanted that because that was some bullshit. Mm hmm. I took a shit ton of pictures. You can take more pictures. Anyhow, I'm now going to have to wait for her to do what she's going to do. But it doesn't matter. I'm out of there. I got the last load in my car. The last load in my car. Yeah. <laughs> I started throwing shit. Yeah. Balenciaga. Okay. Jamie Lee Curtis. What about Jamie Lee Curtis? Shut up, Sloan. Stella. Okay. Jamie Lee Curtis, when I was a kid, I knew she was a hermaphrodite. Don't ask me how I knew that. In Toronto, we heard information, or I heard information. I was just little, and I heard she had both, both appendages. Yeah, she wants to play slowly. I know, because she doesn't have the money, because she thought she'd kick out a good tenant. But fuck you, I'm happy. Anyway, so stay away from me. Um, anyway... Um, she broke it. Yeah. Landlord tenant laws are, sp yeah, no, I know. But who's going to fight her? Who is going to fight her? Like I'd have to get another lawyer. I still haven't heard from Keith's lawyer. I just paid him again. I haven't heard. It's like, you have to keep taking them to small claims court. I'm getting sick of it. Really? Like, really? Um, remember the, the first diver divorce attorney and she's like, yeah, the, the divorce came back. We didn't fill the paperwork out. Correct. What? Your fucking divorce attorney. Anyway, Jamie Lee Curtis was both male and female. So they said, ask your friend. It is true. Okay, so she was born hermaphrodite. So they say, I heard this as a little kid. Like I'm like eight, okay? I knew that her father was gay. I told you I met um, Tony Curtis with my friend at Lar Larchmount at lunch. And I was like, my friend called him over to the table. And I was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> anyway, he looked like a man. He did not look like a woman. He was masculine. But he had on a hair piece, so like a pompadour hair piece and a really powder blue suit jacket that he wore over his shoulders and he kind of <gasps> swooped in like this and he said hello to my friend. Why hello? I'm not mentioning her name. And then he in said hi to me. She introduced me. I was like, fuck me, really? And I'm like, is he gay? I mean, I always thought so. And yes, I would say, or both. Because he was with women. Um, anyway, Jamie Lee Curtis, that picture in her house, for her to have that up there is like, what? No, I'll report her eventually, but I'm, I've got a list of shit I got to do. Uh, um, yeah, my gay heart went off. It was the powder blue suit, and he had very broad shoulders. He's a very attractive man, and I, I met him shit, three years before he died, four years, five years, maybe not, not more than five years, but, um, and he ate lunch where my friend ate lunch all the time. It's, it's in Larchmount in Los Angeles. So it's like, you see all of like Conan O'Brien, everybody, they eat there, but, uh, cause it's near the studios. It's near Paramount, but he was very attractive. Just, just fucking gay. Jamie Lee Curtis is not a truth teller if she has the picture on her wall of an abused child. They like that. She also has a transgender adopted daughter because they have to do that. Cher has that. Warren Beatty has that. You know I love Warren Beatty. Don't speak badly. He's an Aries. He's going to get it this year too. But anyway, um, they... they they all have the transgender kids. They all do that. So they do that. Even Dwayne, is it Dwayne Wayne? Um, whoever. They do that because they get so much money. And in the system, yes, and Madonna's son. Now, Madonna, as soon as Madonna went to a third world country, and an ugly one, 
uh, Magic Johnson, if you're going to have a kid go transgender, Charlize Theron, how is it Charlize Theron adopts two separate kids from two separate families, right? And they're both transgender. Does that make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, um, I would say, I would say with Jamie Lee Curtis to have the picture that she had in her house, she has to be one of them. Um, you know, she has to be, yeah, pink, excuse me. They all have it because they all have a lot of money and they're never going to give you money unless you do what they want you to do because you are brainwashed. A lot of people have MK Ultra, and it's so fucking weird that that's why Hilaria speaks Spanish. Magic Johnson's son. Exactly. True. Elon Musk kid. You're right. No, they all do. They're not given that money without it. They're not given the money. They have to push the agenda. Like the agenda in the 1940s, maybe even 30s, 40s, when women started, you know, they, the, um, what do they call it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Women's Liberation Movement. Women's liberation movement was designed because they wanted to get tax money off of half of the population that stayed home. And as a result, uproot the family. So what is the beast system? They don't like family. They don't like kids. They like divorce. They like dissension. They like all of those things. So when women went back into the workplace and they didn't stay home and raise their kids, they fucked up the family. They fucked up the family. And they, they screwed up everything, right? Who are you talking about? Nobody has what bone structure? Uh, pink has very male traits. Yeah, well, the stomach has the adonis. Pink, pink stomach is like something, right? So I know it's reverse world. It's upside down world, reverse world, cuckoo bird. Madonna, she got her children from Malawi or wherever that's from. Why are they going to third world countries and targeting black kids and bringing them back here? Look up the history on that within the beast system and find out what that's about. Okay, so look up that. Aaliyah could have been a man too. They always say that. It's hard to know. It's hard to know who's what and who does what. Um... Aries, Jupiter's in Aries. So, like, if you're unlucky, Jupiter can blow it up the other way. Um, let's see, see, I can't even read that. Um, cabbage Patch Kid, Grown It. Yeah, there's something that's not right. Something is not right about it. And, and they don't like us, okay? They do not like us. Whatever we are, they don't like us. They like a lot of things, but we aren't one of those things. So, what is this conversation? It's just craziness, is this conversation. My channel is crazy, and I'll talk about whatever. Um, anyway, Jamie Lee Curtis should not have a child of a, a picture of a child. There's just like, what are you doing? You know, what is going on? Martha Stewart's pretty tall. They all lose a family member or child. Yeah, they do. And by the way, in our particular family, I'm going to say this, in the Bella family, you know, where they're embarrassed of me, these Bellas, their words, not mine. Um, anyway, they have two dead boys in that family. And the family, so there's a curse within that family. I never believed in curses before, but I do believe in the, the sins of the father generationally and them trying to... Ah, okay. So I do believe in generational familiar curses. Um, yeah, well... Both of John's sons, both of John's sons from two different women died. And there's one person in the family that, you know, made money. And so you've got to watch who marries whom and for what reason and what agenda they have. Because I truly believe their agenda for money. So like marrying somebody for money, even though you know they're gay, even though you know they're a psycho, whatever it is. Even if they know that, right? And they marry them, what is the reason, right? John was the only son and he lost two sons. I know it's the sins of the father, obviously. I just, I look at it and I, and, and actually when you see that in a family, you should never fucking marry into that family. You should never marry into a family where all they focus on is money to the point of greed because that aligns with the beast system. And there's always some bitch in the family that will go with the beast system. So remember that. And so, yeah, I don't trust it at all. There's generational curses big time. So 
And that's what I feel. Some kids know their preference at a very, yeah, some kids know their preference at a very young, young age. I had a friend, Diane, and she was definitely a man and she dressed like a man and she wore a tool belt and she played my husband when we played games as a little kid. I was the wife and Kathy was the wife and then she was our husband. Totally. I, she was probably a lesbian now. I didn't know her. Um, okay, Julia Sands, Mount Bal uh, Julian Sands. I don't know who that is. Oh, Mount Baldy. They're, they're falling off Mount Baldy. Anyway, my point is not every fucking celebrity, pardon me, not every special person on planet Earth, Magic Johnson, Warren Beatty, Charlize Theron, uh, Elon Musk, they all have transgender kids. I mean, it's, such a rarity that they all have transgender kids. Every single one of those people has transgender kids. But in your neighborhood, how many transgender kids do you know? I knew of a few in my life, and I would live the street life growing up. I was in the strip club, so I knew of a few. But, yeah, the money thing is a huge problem. If you have a family member who is so gung-ho for money... That let's say, for example, they are in Hollywood and they marry a director and a gay guy and they know that they can't get what they want from him. Then there's some other deal like gay for, play, gay for pay and all of these bearded marriages. Those are Illuminati marriages. Those are beast system marriages. It's a mockery of marriage. They're making a mockery. People get married in a church and it's a mockery. I'm not saying marriage is good because you know how I feel about it. I feel like it's hell. <laughs> But if you are serious and you love somebody and you are getting married, right? And you're getting married, then you say it in front of your God. So like if you're Buddhist, you have that, Indian, Hindu, whatever, Christian, Jewish, you do it in a, in a truthful way, right? You do it in a truthful way. So these stupid ass people in Hollywood... They're like, oh yeah, he's gay, but I'll marry him for money and we'll do what we got to do, AKA Magic Johnson. And we'll pretend like we're married. What a mockery. Take your mockery and go. And then some people are like, well, it's a business deal. They're probably both gay. Then don't call it marriage unless you're going to call it a gay marriage. But why are you doing that? I don't get it. I don't get what they're doing. Yes, it's my new place. I showed everybody Will and Jada. Oh, my God. Don't get me started there. And that seems like a little bit abusive to, to me. Will and Jada seems a little bit, you know, out in left field. And so when you see people like that, and, yeah, it's really, it's very nice. I put it in the This is just the recording room, and I haven't set the lights up. I just came on because I had the energy to do it. So... When you make a deal like that and you find out that a relative around you dies, right? Like, let's look at Jennifer Hudson and all of her family members just kaboom, gone. That ain't normal. Yes, it can happen. But when they achieve status after that and shit, I don't trust any of that anymore. I think there's an energy thing that we don't see and people choose not to see it. But I know with my son dying, and I know this, with my stepson dying, I was given that information prior to it happening. And when I got pregnant with Keith, I knew that his brother was going to die. So how come it was in my thinking right then? Oh, Murph, Giff Murph, please, Murph Griffin. Yeah, he was straight. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stella. Okay. Anyway, no. But when I feel that, I know that somebody has done something energetically. Now, what they've done energetically, I can't be clear on it, right? Yes. Yeah, I know. Jennifer won the... I'm saying that with Jennifer Hudson. Suddenly, she's like, whatever. So, um, thank you. Uh, I just don't trust it. And there, uh, in, in my family right now, there is a curse on the boys in the family. And it's the sins of the father, period. Because there's no way that you're going to have every single male child in the family behave in that fashion. That is an ancestral generational curse on the family. Most likely set into motion by a father figure. And that is what I feel like. And I won't shut up about it. So they don't want to hear it. But it's definitely the sins of the father. And I had to bury my son as a result. And bury my stepson as a result. And then other people in the family became very wealthy after that. Super duper wealthy. Not, not us, of course. But others 
became very fucking wealthy. So watch the boys in the family. They like to take out the firstborn son. And they did with John's family. Somebody in the family did. And they did marry into Hollywood. So something happened there. And that is how I feel about it. So I, this is just, I'm not naming names, but sometimes when you have a male energy in the family and the male energy doesn't like to see other people succeed because they're pathetic or they're weak or whatever. And it could be a grandfather, a great grandfather. It can be anybody down the line. But when your kids start dying, you got to look at the father figures all the way down. You've got to look at the father figures. I love Zach. He doesn't have any dead kids. Um, yeah. Well, Jennifer Hudson that whole thing, like once you make the deal, and by the way, Aaliyah, is that her name? Let's see, Trudeau's brother died. Yeah, I know. How many people, was it in a Kennedy, uh, Cher's husband? How many, some sell souls. To, well, you can't sell a soul, but they, they're they under the illusion that if they can have money and they can play the game like a bunch of freakazoids, you know, and have their money, then they win. But you don't win because it's not that hard to get fucking money. They just tell you it's hard to get money. How much money do you need or want, right? Like, what is it you need or want in life? So it's kind of weird. Like, what do you need? How much money do you need to have? Do you need to be a prick and marry someone that you don't even like just to pop out kids with them just to take half their money? Like, what kind of a bitch are you or what kind of a prick are you if you do that, right? So it's just weird. Your health is important. Your mind is important. If you're sober is important. And, you know, the sins of family. Yeah, no, it, it, generational curses. And who leaves a family is the truth teller. That's who usually leaves the family. The rest of the people lie. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's very strange. But, uh, no, I, my P.O. box is the same, sweetie. I keep my P.O. box. Oh, my God. Todd Grizzly. Chisley Grizzly. What's his name? Todd, you know... The Grizzlies or what? I don't know their name. Whatever whatever that guy's name is. Yeah, like he's not gay. That's straight up gay face. Like what is that woman doing? Just to get a TV show, she married that guy and had kids with him if she did. I mean, well, someone had the kids. That guy is so gay. It's a mockery of marriage. It's a mockery of family. That's not even right. That's a mockery. And we go, oh, it's a funny TV show. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a mockery. They are mockery, okay? Mockery. You thought he was gay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Grizzly doesn't know best. No, Grizzly doesn't know best. Yeah, I mean, he's a mockery. That's a mockery of a marriage. And secondly, the liar, they have, yeah, they have to have the token whatever. But the lie of that show, and I never watched that show, but here's the lie of that show. The lie of that show is now they're both in jail. So the woman's been sucked into it with this guy. He is not gay. I wonder. Yeah, Grizzly seems. <laughs> He's gay. Shut up. He's gay. That's gay face. You've seen gay face? It's men. They have women, but they don't like women. They want to be women. They hate women. Okay? The people like that. They marry them, but they will go get another girlfriend to do their work, to fix this, to do this. The P.O. Box. Yeah. Sunland, 40, my P.O. box is 4706 Sunland, California, 91041. I forget it because they switched the last one from a zero to a one. Um, but they make a mockery out of it. Polygamous, sister wives. What is that? What, what am I watching there? Like, why is that a thing? His lover turned him in. <laughs> That's how gay he is. He pissed his lover off. But his wife is a sellout because she goes along with it. Her husband doesn't love her. He's cheating on her the whole married. Okay, the whole, I know, doesn't he? He's cheating her. He's. You can support it all you want. It is not okay as a gay person to marry a straight person under the guise of being straight. That's some bullshit there. It's some bullshit. It's a mockery of marriage. Go marry a gay person. No one's telling you you can't marry your lover. Go marry your lover. But you have shame. That's why you're not marrying your lover. You're taking some woman because you don't like them. And you're using her for children. So she's a breeder. And then you're giving her money and saying, I'm paying the breeder. What the hell is that? Stop doing that. Marry your lover. If you love them, marry your lover. Right? Why not? Um... Sister wives, what the fuck is that? Yeah, hi, I'm your sister wife. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, actually, here's what I like about sister wife. If that guy can keep up with four, five, six different wives, I mean, let's applaud him. 
That's a good one. Four, five, six women getting their periods every month. Can you imagine? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, you guys. Hi. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. I don't like the mockery. I don't care what uh, one wife is still married to. Only one. Yeah, okay, whatever. All of the women in that house and 30 kids. That's pro, the, again, the sins of the father because he wants his gene, his sperm, his seed out there fucking everywhere. Um, it's deception. Okay, yeah, Pamela, I agree with you. Deception. And they're shame-based with the gay. I mean, they don't want to admit they're gay. That guy still won't say he's gay, that grizzly guy. <laughs> ah, he's got spirit fingers. He can't be. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't. But now... <coughs> Excuse me, now they're both in jail, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. The poor woman's in jail because she support that man. <laughs> what the oh, he's homely. Well, because he has gay face. It's a fucking joke. It's a joke. Clown face, right? He's a clown. That guy goes on TV and it's a clown. It's unfortunate they're in jail, but like I mean Yeah. I don't know what to say. But anyway. Um, yeah, John Walsh apparently stole his daughter's child and blamed her when she accused him of doing something to her. And I'm not really clear on that. Um, they were broke before they started. Yeah, they were broke before they started. That's why they made the deal and she sold out. Who deliberately marries a gay man? Who deliberately does it? What are you gaining from that? Either you're not interested in men or... There's a financial payoff or you both made a fucking deal and it's like a cover so you can get where you're going and do something and pop out kids. Yeah. Oh, of course he'll be turned out in jail. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. But his poor wife's in jail too. So like what? Hi, Anthony in Toronto. How are you? Anthony's in Toronto. I don't think Adam Walsh is alive. Um, Anthony's in Toronto. He will probably enjoy jail. I don't know that anybody's really going to enjoy jail. Uh, in Toronto, I'm not gay. I know. I know, Anthony, you're not gay. <laughs> in Toronto, I'm not gay. Yeah, as if it only matters in Toronto, right? Toronto, too. There you go. Jeannie, Toronto, my hometown. My hometown of Toronto. Yeah, there's James. Hi, James. Yeah, Toronto, Canada. Mm-hmm. Safe to say the Grizzlies or whatever the hell their names are won't be going there. <laughs> There's none of that. Um, yeah, no, thanks, you guys. Thank you so much. Adam Walsh. Okay, America's Most Wanted, I think was the name of the show. And what was the dad's name? Well, whatever. I can't remember the dad's name now. What was the dad's name? I know, Marsha Clark. Who? Okay, anyway, what's the dad's name? John Walsh. Thank you. I was just going to look it up. I'm like, huh? But Adam Walsh was taken when he was six or eight. The mom was in a store in a mall, whatever. I do remember that actually in Florida. And someone took the kid and they found his head decapitated, so they say. But the daughter of Adam Walsh has accused him of something and then he's gone and stolen his grandchild from her, which is so interesting because usually grandparents don't have rights. So um, his power is, is interesting. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure John did that. His name is John after all. So of course the sins of the father, of course he's going to sacrifice his kid. I can believe that actually. I actually can believe that, but I want to look up, um, John Walsh and his daughter and his daughter. Let's see what's going on there. His daughter's cute. She's cute. She's 41. Her name is Revy Drew Walsh. Revy, that's interesting. She's kind of cool looking. Um, she's the sister of Adam Walsh, okay? So she's the sister. And let's see. Sit down, friends, and let's go down the rabbit hole. It says this, okay? Oh, no, her name is Megan Walsh. I don't know who Revy, Revy's the wife. Megan Walsh, but the daughter looks cool. She looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, I, I remember Sears in the mall. I I remember, I remember, I just have a memory of this. Um, Adam, he disappeared July 28th, 81, while at Sears with his mom, Reeve. His skull was found two weeks later in a drainage canal. That's interesting, his skull. Where did his skin go? I don't know. Megan Walsh was born after Adam's murder. She has two younger brothers, Kalen, 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 
and Hayden. Okay. Um, hmm. Let's see. DCF took Megan's children into custody April of 2021. Uh, the five-day-old infant. A judge granted John and Reevee custody. That's some fucked up shit. Like, don't you want to support your daughter? I guess unless she's a crackhead smoking cockroaches. Okay, on the day social services removed the infant child, two of Megan's supporters were there conveniently and filmed with a camera phone. Um, while the video is heartbreaking, I see them doing their job. A mother who seems unstable. She immediately mentions her father's name and says she has a federal case in progress. However, she doesn't say anything about it. Pretty safe to say she was probably raised within the beast system and take that for what it is, whatever that is. Um, she keeps saying this is a kidnapping. This is evil. No, it's not a kidnapping. They can legally take your children. Megan claims her parents conspired with DCF. I believe that by falsifying documents. I absolutely fucking believe that. I do. I believe if you have enough money and power, you can do anything you want. You have no rights in this country, in America. Don't ever let them tell you you have rights. You have to get a lawyer and that costs money. So if you don't have money, you don't have rights, okay? Um, so I believe that 100%. Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It seems like she blames, the last one is interesting. Megan blames her parents for why her children are not with her yet. She says on another tweet, which is full of lies, no one would take her kids for the reason she mentioned. Da, 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 da. Anyway, so there's something going on. She's having some kind of a break. Um, she is saying all the same things. You are Megan Walsh. Okay. Yeah, anyway, she her parents maybe could take her to get a break. Maybe she's having a psychotic break from being raised within a system. My home is great. Yeah, I believe you too, Tina. I believe it. I absolutely believe it. I believe it. I, I had heard that, but as a grandparent, like, uh, let's see, true, you're guilty before you... Yeah, you're definitely guilty. And let me just say, after experiencing some stuff this week with my own property, you really can't get anyone to do jack shit. Like, you can't get people to do shit. So how did he get the authority to get his grandchildren taken away? A five-day-old? Maybe she's having postpartum depression, a five-day-old, five-day, okay, five-day-old. So could she be having postpartum psychosis? Like, that's a hormonal thing. So why aren't they trying to help her with that? Why aren't they saying to her, why don't you come in? Why don't you, we see your hormones? Why don't we supervise you? Why don't you come live with mommy and daddy while you're batshit crazy with the hormones? Nah, nah, they just take the kids straight out from under her, right? Um, yes, I know, uh, Mount Baldy. Yes, I know, my friend Brent told me there's two of them that died in the last week. Priscilla Presley is in the lead. So she... Priscilla Presley was turned out by her parents. She was 14, Elvis was 25. Unacceptable. I don't care if he's Elvis. Everybody's like, that's so cool. What is Elvis, loser that he was, because he was, okay, he was really cute though, but loser going out with a fucking 14-year-old. You're 25. Like, you a fucking... You a fucking child lover. I know what he is. A pedo. A P-E-D-O. Yeah. I mean, what is that? You're a loser. You're a fucking loser. What kind of loser does that? She's fucking 14. And I don't care if she looks 25. Because that's what they love to say. She's so mature for her age. That's another word for... Sorry, the microphone's coming out. She's so mature for her age. Is another word for... I'm a man and I want to manipulate this girl who doesn't get enough attention from mommy and daddy. So if I tell her she's mature and really adult, because she's 14 or 15, she's going to be like, yeah, he likes me. And then she'll be putty in my hands. That's why I'm going for somebody so much younger. Oh, but she looks older. That's another thing. Oh, but she looks older. Really? How much older does she fucking look? Like 14. So she's got boobs and a body. Yeah, we know that. We know that. But why don't you go for a woman your own age? Nah, nah, we can't do that. Because she's so, so mature and so intelligent. Yeah, okay, okay, sure. That's right. Oh, let's blame it on Priscilla. Yes, worldly, right? Oh, I got that one thrown at me. Yeah. Uh, 
my captor threw that at me. Anyway, yeah, so let's do that. Let's see where Elvis and Priscilla, now let's blame Priscilla for being the hoe that chased him down. Yeah, that's right. Let's do that. Uh-huh. Hey there, Priscilla, you were 14. Um, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Vicky. I'm so sorry that you lost TJ, I understand. It's horrible. Groomed, yep, groomed, manicured, and coiffed. Now, I wonder who Elvis was dressing Priscilla after. Huh, who? Who, I ask you, himself? Or did his mommy look like that when he was younger? Who was he dressing? And now they're trying to say Lisa Marie died because of a genetic problem. What was the genetic problem, you ask? Oh, that's right, cousins married cousins. I think we call that incest. Explaining so very much. Let's take that a little notch further and say cousins marrying cousins and family members marrying family members are, what? Oh, that's right, ritualistic marriages by certain bloodlines who they will align and assign in order to manipulate the masses. Let's call it that. So, yeah, the Grizzlies. I can't say their name. I can't, Grizzlies, whatever. This is my, <laughs> this is my mic. Oh, yes, this is my mic. Anyway, what kind of people, like Elvis's family, marry interbreed, like the royal family? Do you know? Okay, I'm, I, I'm, I don't know. Just correct me here. There are a lot of people that read the Bible, right? So let me ask you this. Why do we accept that the royal family is interbred and we don't fucking say shit. Oh yeah, they marry their cousins, their firstborn cousins, they were, what are you talking about? They married their cousins, they married their 13th cousin removed from whatever, and we don't bat an eye? Yeah, that's not right, that's not right. But we go, oh, they're royalty, it's different. They wanna keep their bloodline the same. <laughs> oh yeah, cause it's beauty out there. Like that Prince Philip, Stunning. <laughs> no, 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 no. The reason they do that, they are the ugliest people on the world. They are fugly. Not the little redheaded one that married the cuckoo bird. Not that one. But the rest of them are so ugly. Ugly. Like weird looking. Hello, Camilla Parker Bowles. I believe your new husband, he would like to be a tampon. I think that's what I heard him quote on a phone tape that got leaked. I wish I could be a tampon. Ugh. I thought at first he wanted to have sex with her because she was on her period. But then I realized they like the blood. And that is why he wanted to be a tampon, Mr. Count Dracula. Ew, look it up. Prince Charles talks about wanting to be a tampon with his future wife because... That is what we need from our royal family. But they mock us. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> the sins of the father in that whole family, okay? That whole family. That whole family is insane. It will be my luck to end up as a tampon. Yeah, well, whatever he said was leaked and he's gross, okay? <laughs> he's gross. Oh, he, looks like, he looks like Count Dracula. And you can actually see Dracula on his face. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I just remember I was young when that happened. I think he was married to Princess Di. It's like, what the hell? Thank you so much, Bethany. He's disgusting. So is his wife. And why do we care about, could someone tell me? He looks like George Bush. <laughs> oh, could somebody please tell me why we care about Meghan Markle? What is that? Why do we care about Meghan Markle? Somebody please tell me. Hugh Hefner was a pig. He was a CIA operative and a pig. Who is Diamond? They killed Diamond. I don't know who that is. Remind me. Tell me because I can't keep it in my head. But Hugh Hefner. Yes, Vlad the Impaler. Thank you. So Hugh Hefner. Like, why did we groom a whole bunch of men on Playboy? Like, oh, she's in Playboy. He's in Playboy. Playgirl. Hugh Hefner's a freak. He's a freak. He didn't even like the... I almost said a bad word for the women that were in his bed. Oh, killed Diana. Yeah, of course they killed Diana. I mean, that's obvious. It was a ritual. But um, Count Dracula, exactly. Now, did you hear about Pamela Anderson talking about Tim Allen? How on the first date of shooting home, I forget the name of it now, home whatever, you know, 
that show. I'm trying to pull it out of my head and it's gone. Anyway, um, she said that um, Tim Allen flashed her home improvement because he'd seen her naked. Excuse me, Mr. Tim Allen, who's now denying this because he doesn't like being called out. I absolutely believe Pamela Anderson, 5,000%. So Mr. Tim Allen, just because you look at Playboy and you decide to look at naked Pam Anderson, that's your choice. She's not coming into your living room. You, however, are on a studio lot, you piece of shit. And you being in your bathrobe, AKA Bill Cosby, which my friend who introduced me to Tony Curtis also told me that. So you flashing your pathetic weenie to Miss Anderson, who had a separate job that was separate at that time because you couldn't stand her getting the attention you didn't get because you don't have boobies, Tim Allen, you mental patient. Anyhow, wrong, wrong, wrong. <sighs> wrong. I mean, I saw you naked, so you should see me. Wow, your ego is fucking huge, buddy. <laughs> I don't see anybody hiring you to see your dick. Like, what? No, no. I heard this really great. <laughs> yeah, I know. They're, they're, well, they do it because they get the money. So they, tool time guy. Yeah, like literally. What the fuck is that? Okay, diamond of diamond and silk. Yes, I did hear she died. Did she take the, I'm sorry, the Trump supporter girls. Thank you. Yes, now I know who you mean. I did. I did hear she died. Yeah, she died of sudden death syndrome. Oh my God, I just saw a text from Paigey. Oh, I cannot wait to find out about this baby. I'm going to get to that hospital so quickly when she's taking visitors. I'm going to get there so quickly, so quickly when she says I can, so I can peek through the window at the baby. I won't go near the baby. I won't infect the baby but I'll just like love the baby. Um, yeah, so I think Pam, oh, of course, Pam. I mean, Hugh Hefner is the biggest piece of shit on the planet. Oh no, he did an empire. He would not be who he was unless they gave him the money to play fire with the stupid men. Like you guys fall, oh, look at her. She's great. Why? Because Hugh Hefner says it. So you do realize like every woman that you have in your real life is not going to look like that. So, oh my God. Um, yeah, Hefner was gross. He's just gross. Like no one cares. He's filthy. Like he probably had rotten teeth. He probably smelled. He probably didn't wipe his ass. Oh God, shut up. Who said that? Shut, just stop. There's a something in my head talking. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, Kirstie Alley. I actually like Kirstie Alley quite a bit. Um, I don't know why I just did. I thought she was pretty fun and she's pretty like fun girl. So yeah, it's a honey trap. And yeah, of course the man th mansion was filthy. He was filthy. Look at, I mean, dude, you're running around in a fucking smoking jacket. Like get a grip, get a grip. No one cares what you did. No one cares. Um, yeah, no one cares. Um, yeah, I know Summer Wells, that poor little baby girl. My God, whatever. Yes. Okay. So please tell me. His carpet was crunchy. Uh, 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 <laughs> I can't. Oh my God, no. Okay, mildew. Yeah, oh my God. I know, Jeff. And, well, Cosby, my friend Claudette told me about Cosby when she was a little girl because her dad was at the mansion in Philadelphia. And yes, John knows I move. Unfortunately, he got his little hooks into this place, but he can't stalk me. And now I'm not talking to him again, so he will not be here. Because you know why? Sins of the father. How about that one? So there you go. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, Hefner was gross. And I knew about Hefner. I'm sorry. I knew about Bill Cosby. Claudette grew up with her father who hung out at the Playboy Mansion in Philadelphia and forbid them when she was a little girl, like 12, to watch Cosby because he was a rapist. Her father's words. My friend told me that 15 years before it happened. She was on the lot at Paramount. She said she came down the hall and Cosby opened his house coat. So here's the moral of the story. Men who wear robes and house coats probably aren't wearing underwear, so it probably should be banned. Like if we're gonna ban shit, let's ban adult men wearing house coats in public places, okay? Or robes, because they ain't wearing underwear under there. <laughs> They're not wearing under trunks under there. 
Howard Stern is another one. Um, Howard Stern, Jesus. Okay, Bill's wife scares me and has a perma smile. Okay, which Bill? He had depends. Ugh. That just threw me over the fucking edge. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there was talk. That's that's Claudette grew up there. So what she told me, so many people tell you things and people do nothing about it. They do nothing about it until enough people do. That's why you must always speak about it because somehow the truth always comes to light. Always, always, always. Um, oh my God, totally. They always come. Name roll and Hillary Hawkins and Kurt Cobain. Probably Alec Baldwin, Hilaria. We've talked about her. I am Hilaria and I have my children and you keep asking me and I'm not going to talk to you. My children, that's more of a Hindu accent. But anyway, my children do not understand. But do they understand that your their father poo-poo somebody like that? I mean, what? What, they're upset because they're talking to your mom? Just keep walking, Hilaria. I can't handle this. <laughs> oh my God. Poor Lisa Marie. She's, she had a real, she had a real rough life. The home improvement guy. Yeah. Uh, Twitch. I, I, that, come on. That's a setup. Come on. That's a setup. They say Ellen is, Ellen and Oprah, they're all related to the queen. Really? Are y'all? They're related to this one and that one. Yeah. Alec was terribly handsome, but I could never stand his mouth. Because his mouth was narcissistic, okay? Spanish again, of course he is. That's MK Ultra. What you see with Hilaria is MK Ultra. That's what you're seeing when she flips like that. MK Ultra. Yeah. Let's see. Boy, you were right about that, Sloan. Hilaria and the MK Ultra. <laughs> like, what the fuck are you doing? Um. Oh my God. Yeah, there's loads of deaths. Yes, Priscilla. Priscilla joined the club when her military father wed her to Elvis. I'm sorry. Elvis didn't sleep with her till she was 18. I'm sorry. I raised two boys. Shut the front door. Shut the front door with that. Oh, I'm not going to sleep with her. Oh, because you're such a good person. It's not bad to have sex. It's bad to have sex. Bob Hope was a trainer. Come on now. Um, yeah, one of our family friends lived next door to Bob Hope's house. But anyway, Bob Hope was a trainer for the elite. So he had sex slaves and MK Ultra and all of that. Yeah, Elvis was lame in the sack because he took it up the back of the sack his whole life. And so when he had to put it out there, anybody who does that many drugs is not going to be having sex. If you're picking drugs, you're picking drugs over the sex, right? Because, yeah, it's monarch mind control put into action by um, Bob Barker. Uh, it's put into action by the Nazis, and they adopted it in these countries when the Nazis escaped from Germany during World War II and pretended to be the Jewish people and stole the names of dead people and then continue, continued Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds apparently murdered somebody. Burt Reynolds is another one that's kind of bad shit crazy. And I love Burt Reynolds. Not anymore. Not a fan. I don't love any of them. Mm -mm. Yep. No. Brando. Yeah. But they're all, um, they're all MK Ultra. Like they're mind controlled. I know. I don't like Barbara Walters. Everybody's like, she was a genius. Her father was in the industry and she's a Nepo baby. And that's why she got in the industry. It's not because she's talented. It's not because she's smart. It's because it was payback to her father. That's what it was. Paul Newman was gay. I'm, I'm shouting out Claudette. And he was tiny because she worked with him. He got in the elevator and he's tiny and he's gay. That is what she told me. So I guess cat, cat, on, a, cat on a hot tin roof with Elizabeth Taylor. This was a real story. A true story. Even Elizabeth Taylor. Yes, Elizabeth Taylor. Uh-huh. Anyway, uh, Amir Stevens was murdered by Bert. Yeah, that's what they, they say that Bert murdered. Okay, Lisa Marie was going. I know, Lisa was going to testify against Danny Masterson. You know, it's so interesting. Like, if you try to, this world is so, so stupid. It's so stupid. Rita Hayworth. Now, Rita Hayworth, I know about Rita Hayworth because I channeled her at the 
silent movie theater. I think it was 2007, 2008 on a TV show, random, and I did it for a friend of mine. Oh my God, and I can't remember my friend's name. They were friends at the time. They did ghost hunting shows, both of them, her and her husband, and they wanted to do the show, but then they didn't want to do the show, so they sent me in their place. So I had no idea what was going on, which is usually how I show up for TV appearances. No idea. So anyway, we're at the silent movie theater in Hollywood. Where was it? Anyway, Melrose. So we're down there and I'm channeling Rita Hayworth. So I walk in there and I just remember the host, the host, the host of the show was Chris Fleming. I think his father's a hockey player. That's all I remember. And it was like 2007, 2000, my kids were little, 2008, something like that. Anyway, went in there and got a bunch of stuff on Rita Hayworth. But did you know? Because I know, and I knew back then, Miss Hayworth was traveling with her daddy as his wife. Because that's fucking normal. Uh, doing um, flamenco dancing, and she slept with her father in hotel rooms. This is, of course, why she lost her mind later on and then married a bunch of strange people. She married the Middle Eastern guy, but she married Orson Welles. I can't stop laughing at Orson Welles because he strikes me as a Taurus, but I don't know if he is one, but that's very Taurus behavior of him. Yes, Britney Spears is probably not here. I don't know who is there, but that is not her. Um, let's say she was remote. Who, uh, who, Rita? Yeah, Rita bought a baby from Ireland. Well, we all buy babies when we adopt, don't we? I know, no one wants to hear that. No, I'm a good person, I adopted. No, you're baby broken. We have top people, it's normal to pick up other people's discarded children and it's not you should be raising your own children within your own family context i really believe that don't kill me i'm adopted so like who wants somebody else's baby i know they say they do but how often uh yes chris fleming i did the show with him whatever his show was he had a female host too i can't remember her name i just remembered him because his dead famous thank you i did the rita hayworth episode 2007. Let me look it up. Let's look up dead. Do they still do that show? I don't know. Um, God, I can't remember my friend's name. They were ghost hunters. I call them friends and I 